After the attacks in Paris, Ohio State is tightening security for tomorrow's game. In addition to the new clear bag policy, the university plans to have bomb sniffing dogs at the stadium. NBC4 Beth Delpani is live at the shoe tonight. And Beth, you spent time with the dogs and their handlers today. Yes, this was very interesting. Dwayne, a lot goes into making sure that the more than 100,000 fans who fill the shoe here are safe. I got a rare opportunity to spend some time with a team who plays a huge role in making sure that nothing like those Paris attacks happens here. Rick Harding and 11 year old Marley are part of the Columbus Bomb Squad. They've been working together for 10 years. This canine team is getting ready for a very big job at OSU's last home football game on Saturday. Marley is used to working the big events. Where there's loud noise, red, white, and boom. You know, we're down there and the fireworks are going off. A lot of dogs would go crazy. These guys are used to that kind of stuff. Marley and more than 10 other canine teams from throughout the state will be sniffing for bombs and looking to track down anything else that could be suspicious near the horseshoe. In light of the Paris attacks, extra security will be all over. There's cameras everywhere, and now they're bringing in more cameras. So if you do something wrong, it's going to be on camera. Zero tolerance is it for sure. If you've ever decided or planned on following the rules for any one of the games, and I mean all the rules, this week would be the one. And certainly don't forget about the clear bag policy. It is new for this game. Check out this bag that I got at one of the bookstores here. This is what you need to use if you have to bring anything larger than a wallet. Uh, a lot of the parking attendants, they will be reminding you, passing out flyers about the restrictions. There will be signage at the bus stop. So a lot of things to keep you in line. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you why you don't want to break any of these new rules or restrictions. That's coming up at 6. For now, though, live near the horseshoe, Beth Delpani, NBC4.